I'm back and do I have a great recommendation for you. So if you're looking for a great hazy IPA and one that will surely make you look like a connoisseur, then join me on this tasting. My name is Eddie and I have tasted and sampled many beers from all over the world and it is my passion to help you find that perfect beer you're looking for. Whether you're looking to try something new or there is something very specific that you're looking for to pair with your food, I got your back. Welcome back, beer lovers. Thank you for spending the next few minutes with me. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, I taste and review all kinds of beers and give you my most honest opinion about them, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like the one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon down there so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. And if you like the video, give me the thumbs up, let me know. Now, like I said, I'm back after those few episodes we had with my friend Ben in the studio, and then we took a well-deserved trip uh, to Costa Rica. Actually, I brought back some Costa Rican beer that I will be making some uh, reviews here in the near future, but not today, because today I'm back to the hazies, and I bring you none other than Elysian Contact Haze, and... I'm actually surprised I haven't done any Elysian because I've enjoyed Elysian beer before. And this uh, Elysian is, of course, in Seattle, Washington. And uh, looking forward to, uh, to this review of this contact haze. I like the whole uh, Indian um, label there. And as always, for a hazy IPA, I'm going to use my tulip glass which is the glass I recommend you use when you're pouring yourself a hazy IPA like this one. And as you know, having the right glass for the beer that you are tasting, it's always a good way to show your beer connoisseur chops, right? So, if you want to get your own set of beer connoisseur TV glasses, check out the description below, go to the store, see how you can get your hand your hands on one set. Now, where do we always start? With appearance, right? And that's why we use the tulip glass because it helps us a lot get a nice view of that appearance. So, more importantly, we want the three C's of appearance, right? You know them by now. Color, clarity, and carbonation. That is right. Look at that color. It's a bright yellow color, actually. Very, very, very bright, but it's not orange or anything like that. It's, it's bright yellow. And it's a hazy IPA, so it's definitely significantly cloudy. And, um, you know, I would call that medium carbonation. Not a lot of carbonation. Uh, you can see not a, not a big head of foam there, maybe about two fingers. And it's losing it pretty, pretty fast. It's nice, bright, white, fluffy head of foam, but not, not very, not a huge head and not a lot of retention either. Let's go to the aromas next. Wow, well, interestingly, the first thing I smell is guava, and it's actually not hidden, with a little bit of passion fruit, and then maybe some other citrus, like either ripe orange or tangerines, maybe even a little bit of grapefruit. Mmm, wow, very, very, very nice tropical fruit aromas there. Let's go for the kill. Wow, that guava is very present there, you know. Um, oh, nice. So the tip of the tongue, you know, I always like to kind of like go in the three stages. So the, the tip of the tongue, um, you, you, you get that bitterness, that hoppy bitterness from, you know, the, the IPA flavor. So it's actually still a decent, you know, back body of IPA on this one. And then towards the middle, 
the fruit juices started coming out. So again, the, the guava is very noticeable with the passion fruit is very noticeable and then that whole citrus and it ends with that bitterness, which it's kind of like either grapefruity bitterness or even maybe a little bit peppery, maybe some spicy back, you know, aftertaste there towards the back, but very, very, you know, light and refreshing, very smooth. Um, so yeah, very, very, very nice, hazy IPA here. And you know, all that becomes important when we go to the next piece, which is the part I always say rounds us up as beer connoisseurs, which is when we can do the food pairings. Now, you know, IPAs are good to pair with bold foods. Now with all these hazy and fruity IPAs, we have a whole host of things that we can play on to pair with the different foods. So today with all that, you know, that guava, aromas and, and flavors in this beer, I'm going to go with some guava glazed pork chops. Oh yes, believe me, you know, the pork chop is still kind of like a, like a, you know, bold food. However, with the guava, it's going to latch on to that and it's going to be beautiful. Trust me on that one. And then if you like, you know, hazy IPAs are good to pair with some seafood and especially if you put some citrus in there. So some lemon garlic shrimp will definitely be a great pairing here. And if you like chicken and you want to go a little bit lighter on that side, maybe a sesame uh, grilled chicken stir fry. A sesame chicken stir fry. That's right. Now, as far as cheese, I'm actually going to try a few things here in front of you. Now, you've heard me try the Applewood Smoke uh, Cheese, uh, Applewood Smoke Cheddar Cheese before, and with the Hazy IPAs, especially with the back being a little bit peppery like that, smoky, I think this will be a great pairing. So I'm going to try this one. And then I have another cheese that I'm going to share with you here. I got this passion and it's burning deep inside of me. And this no doubt about that one. Smoky cheeses are great with these beers that have that kind of like grapefruity, peppery, spicy end to them. And the beer has enough astringency to cleanse. That, that cheddar cheese is very creamy. It actually coats your whole tongue when you're eating it, and you need a beer that will cleanse some of that out. And so the beer did a good job on that. And like I've said before, the smoke part of the cheese actually cuts down that whole pepper uh, spicy finish of the beer. So very nice pairing there. Now the next one is a... Um, Mango fire cheddar cheese. Now this is one of the spiciest cheeses I've ever had. Okay, so I'm hoping this beer will be enough to put down the fire because like I've said, this one is a hot one. So I'll let you know how that goes. Actually, it does a decent job. Maybe you need a second gulp there because now it's in the back of my throat. Oh, God. But that being a mango fire cheese, it does have some fruit uh, taste to it. And with the guava and the passion fruit, it actually matches pretty well with that. So that's, you know, today you have two cheeses that you can pair with this great beer. Now, you know, you can always trust me to leave you a great recommendation as far as a dessert pairing. So, today I may have some guava infused uh, desserts here, so check out the description below, my gift to you. That concludes today's lesson, but not before I ask you, as I always like to do, have you had Elysian Contact Haze before? What are your thoughts? Leave me some comments below. I love to interact with you as we all, you know, share on this journey. I hope I have helped you increase your beer knowledge as we all continue on this journey of becoming beer connoisseurs and I encourage you to be on the lookout over the next few days when I release my next beer review video and until then, enjoy! Yeah.